Uh, welcome everybody to Audio Visual Connection and we are going to do a demonstration today of our setup using a uh, Matrox Monarch LCS encoder uh, recording machine and how we're setting it up in order to stream live. Uh, we've thrown in a couple of extra steps in here. Uh, we're sending out uh, a video feed via a analog way pulse switcher. Uh, this would be sort of how it would work in a real time setting if you guys were doing a big conference somewhere. So this is what the box looks like. And there's the back. So we'll talk about how this is hooked up here. So in the back you have um, a SDI and you have HDMI in and you've got an HDMI out. The HDMI out is obviously for preview monitor and then the A and the B sides would be for whatever content that you wanted to put in there, whether it's a camera or a what we're pulling it out of the pulse switcher. So it's a PowerPoint presentation and a camera. Um, our particular camera that we're using today is a Canon X15 uh, and it actually has a SDI out so when I show you our hookup you'll see that instead of using the HDMI input we're actually using the SDI input for the camera but if your camera uh, didn't have SDI you definitely could use the HDMI input. Um, over here is where you, you obviously your Cat5 is going to go which is how you uh, access the command center for the box or put it in through a network which is what we've done now we've networked it in so multiple machines could get access to the box that we're using if they wanted to uh, finally over here on the right you've got your audio in and out um, uh, and we'll show how that is on the real hookup when we get there I think the out would be where you could send it to an external um, a set of headphones or something like that for you to monitor your feed um, on the front of the box you'll see that there are three little buttons here there's also two USB inputs and an SD card slot so the USB inputs and the SDI card slot are where you would put your media if you wanted to actually record uh, onto a hard drive your meeting in the past this is the only thing that we've used uh, so one of the reasons we're doing this is because this is the around the first time that we've really tried to use the box as a streamer as well as a recorder um, on the right you have an input select that would tell you between uh, whether you were going to be do using um, A or B and there is a switch here that you could hit that and I think on the fly it allows you to switch if you were doing dual isolated which would be uh, an input on your A side and a B side you could manually come in here and switch it back and forth and then this is the encoder button which you can uh, manually hit that in order to start your stream um, or your recording but we have opted to use the command center through a network. So um, the setup that we have here today is that we are using the hotel's internet and we're gonna come down here. We're coming in <coughs> to a unmanaged switch. So uh, the first input is our internet to get us out. It's coming from the wall. The second input is the host machine, which is the one that's actually streaming out to YouTube right now. Um, we have a spare in here, uh, just in case we needed it for something. Um, this one that's labeled Acer is a secondary laptop, which is here, which can also uh, has the command center uh, software for the Matrox box. So we could actually get into the Matrox box through any of these, either the host or the Acer. They're all both plugged into the um, into the switch and then the last input here is the matrox itself so that's how we've got our network set up in order to control the box um, so I'll show you how we've done this everything's hooked up in the back so here's our audio input it's going mini jack in and it's coming out and we'll show you that last as we move down the line we'll get to how, how it's coming out of the board um, we have our camera in which is running SDI. This here is the preview out, which is going to this little preview monitor. I'll sort of swing that around so that we can see what is actually coming out of the matrix box. 
Uh, this side here is obviously, you can see that it's the PowerPoint. This side is the live camera feed. All right. Then this one right here is our PowerPoint in. That is coming from the pulse switcher. You could be coming directly out of a laptop if you wanted to, but since we're using the switcher for this particular demonstration, um, it's, it's feeds coming from the switcher. And here's the last, here's the matrix, cat5. All right, so we'll go to the pulse switcher. Not all of you guys will have a pulse switcher, we know that, but they've got one on the west coast and we have, we have about four of them floating around in the company. Um, all right, so uh, what we're coming out of here is we are using DVI to HDMI cable converters. We'll start here on this side. So we've got one that is preview out and that's coming directly into this preview monitor which is showing us the preview. If you want to see what's coming up, this is what's on the screen live now. You guys will see that and if I go to standby that is the live stream that we're doing now which is on the second computer that we have here and um, so this is the preview of what is standing by to go and if I hit the take button that becomes what's up on our screen right now and I think you guys should see that in the uh, it showed up on the preview monitor for the matrix and if I come back and I want to go back to the PowerPoint pr uh, computer I hit that and again this is previewing of what would be coming up next when we hit the take button. So we're going to go back to that and now did it take? Stand by. There we go and now we're back to the PowerPoint presentation that would be running. Okay so that's the preview out. Now the main out what we've done because we need to run a feed to a live projector in the room which um, I'm not sure if uh, you want to swing around and show them we've got a projector and a screen going in the room here yep so what we have to do when we come out of the main out is we're coming down to a HDMI splitter and so here's the DVI main out going into the box and then we have two HDMI feeds coming out one of them is going to the matrix box and the other one is going to the projector. So there are, I'll just throw in here that there are a few other configurations that you could do uh, uh, using SDI splitters and I mean we can make it really complicated if we want to but for the demo I'm just trying to keep it as simple as we can. We have our two inputs now that are coming from the laptops. We've got one that's showing the PowerPoint, which is the one that's live now, and then I've got one that's coming from the host, and it's strictly HDMI out, like you would if you were doing this setup uh, on any show. So you guys know, here's our internet cable from the host computer, and this is the computer that's actually sending the YouTube stream out right now, and it's coming out and going into the switch. So this is just the other end of it. This laptop here is strictly just the PowerPoint presentation that is, is being streamed out. We're, on, we're to the audio part now. This is the laptop audio interface that was causing the issues a little bit ago. We've now disabled that, so we're all good. Uh, we have a couple of panel mics going, as well as the uh, two wireless that I'm using. One of the wireless lobs is for the camera to pick up for the SD card recording. The other one is for the live YouTube stream. How we've got the board set up is here's your usual inputs that you would have. We've got a panel mic one, panel mic two, the wireless, one of the wireless lobs I'm wearing, and here's the laptop audio that was causing all the problems a little bit ago. So how we're getting the audio into the matrix box is through this aux out. So um, what we have here is uh, uh, we're not, we're not put outputting anything into the speakers in the room right now because we'll get, you'll hear it twice. So um, the only thing we have is the, the two panel mics here and the wireless and then we're just sending those all equally to both channels of the AUG send. Um, and the AUG's master is at Unity and these, these channels are all at Unity stereo. Um, and then this, these are sending, the AUG's sends are sending it to the master which is sending it to the AUGS 1 output, AUGS 1 and 2 output which is running to the audio input of the matrix 
and the, the matrix, and you have to um, set the matrix to analog input if you're trying to get analog signal into the uh, matrix from the uh, eighth inch uh, input. So this is what it looks like from the text perspective. So we have our, our matrix box here and you can see that the blue light is blinking which that's a good sign. If this is flashing red that means you've got a problem. Um, we have the switcher here and here's our inputs. Uh, we've got the host. This is live stream. I'll hit the take and now you guys will see that. And we'll go back to DVI 2 which is the PowerPoint presentation and there that comes up.